Nanoplastics have been found in the Arctic and the Antarctic now, which means we've got a global problem with nanoplastics leaking into the environment. Uh, it seems that about uh, both in the Arctic and Antarctic, about half of the material is uh, polyethylene, so just general plastic waste. About a third of it is PET bottles, so re or th PET plastics from uh, recyclable bottles that have that have ended up in the oceans and, and breaking down. Uh, also in the uh, in the Arctic, up in the northern hemisphere, about a th quarter of the material is uh, polybutadiene, which comes from uh, from tire wear or, or tires that are that are em emitting uh, nanoplastic rubber into the to the atmosphere, uh, which is quite different to the Antarctic as well. So the Antarctic uh, doesn't have that atmospheric plastic problem, but it just shows you that the plastic, uh, the nanoplastics due to plastic breakdown in the environment is spreading globally. So uh, anything that we can do uh, as businesses or as consumers to reduce the amount of plastics that we consume. Uh, whether it's just part of our regular everyday lives or, or decisions that are being made in, in business, uh, business systems or packaging, uh, is really important when it comes to uh, protecting the environment from these nanoplastics.